Hi all, greetings from the apocalypse. Today I'm going to show you a very simple technique for soldering your ring shanks together. Um, I actually use this technique for lots of things, jump rings, ring shanks, um, even bezels really. Um, so it's fast, it's easy, pretty much foolproof. So here it comes. So I think this is probably the easiest way to solder a ring shank or a jump ring or sometimes a bezel closed. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So first you see, I've got my seam nice and tight together. We uh, sawed through that in one of my last videos to make sure we had a really good tight seam. And I have it just sitting right on a relatively clean spot of my solderite board. Solderite boards are my favorite board because they stay clean and flat for the longest amount of time, and that's a super handy thing. They also reflect a lot of heat back on the piece, so these are my favorite blocks. So I'm just gonna cut a square of hard solder out. Not super big, but not too tiny either. I know that doesn't uh, narrow it down very much, does it? But I think something like this. This looks like about the right size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my square of solder and I'm gonna just put it flat on the block. I'm gonna pick up my seam and put it directly on top. That's really all you need to do. Um, you just wanna make sure that both sides of the seam are touching the solder. Um, if you've ever done something like this and the solder made a lump kind of on one side and didn't really flow up the seam, it's usually because both sides of the seam weren't touching the solder. So I'm gonna use my tweezers that I use for everything because I always inevitably singe up my flux brushes, so I gave up on that many years ago. So I'm just gonna put a little flux on my seam and make sure it kinda like travels down to the solder. Just like that is good. And if anything moves out of the way, you know, you can kinda tweak it around, but I think it's sitting on there pretty well, like so. Um, now when I solder, I'm gonna solder hot and fast, which is how I do it. I'm not gonna heat the whole piece. I'm not gonna dig around in any way. I'm gonna hold the flame straight up and down over top of the seam until the solder flows. The second I see the solder flow, I'm gonna pull it away. So I usually try to describe it before I do it because if everything goes right, it really happens quite fast. I'm using an acetylene tank and a zero tip. Um, I could actually, no, sorry, this is a one tip. I could use a zero tip also, which is a little smaller, um, but this ring shank is a little chunky, so I figured, screw it, we'll go with the bigger one. Okay, so I just position the flame directly over the seam and just sit it there and just watch. It's very mesmerizing, actually. And there it goes, and the seam is filled. So that's why I think this is such a simple method. Um, point soldering, as I've often told you before, I think totally sucks and makes things way harder than it needs to be. So I use this for jump rings and ring shanks and bezels and everything, and it works really well. Really the only way that you can go wrong is if you don't look at it closely and you don't make sure that your seam is actually touching. You know, like if you put this on a real crunchy spot or something, you know what I mean, and they're not in contact. That's really the only way that it goes wrong. Okay, so you let it cool a little bit and then you pickle it and that's it. And you can easily see the solder flowed all the way to the top. So that's really all I'm looking for. And you know, if you do your soldering right, it shouldn't take very long. The longest amount of time is really getting everything in position in the right spot, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But the soldering itself really should take just a few seconds. So I hope you find this helpful. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. That's all for today.